Currently, there are approximately 20 billion animals inhabiting our world. If everything were ideal, we would have 5 billion more animals on Earth. But many species have gone extinct, and around 44,000 species are currently in danger. The largest, most recent mass extinction event in history occurred during the dinosaur era, leading to the eradication of 75% of species on Earth. The Tulachi wallaby is a long-lost relative of today's kangaroo, but they had a hidden superpower – night vision. That's why they were mostly active at night. They were 3 feet tall and fed on grass, fruit leaves, and other plants. Wallabies lived in grassy areas near swamps and other water bodies, but not for long. By the 19th century, their numbers had gone down, bringing them to the edge of extinction. Only 14 wallabies have been left in the wild by 1920. A rescue mission was launched. They tried to capture the last 14 animals to protect them. But the situation got out of control, and 10 wallabies lost their lives. The four remaining ones were transferred to a special facility, and in 1935, the last animal passed away. Only one picture of the Talachi wallaby is left now. There were reports of the animal sightings after that, but no proof was shown, and the creature was officially declared extinct in the 70s. Short-faced bears were a unique species that lived in North America, particularly Alaska. It was a massive bear, weighing around 1,500 pounds. When standing on its hind legs, it was around 12 feet tall, a whole foot taller than today's biggest beast in this family, the polar bear. This animal was different from today's bears because almost all of them are omnivores, except for polar bears. But this monster was solely carnivorous, which was the reason for their extinction. During the end of the Ice Age, many herbivores were gone and those bears did not have enough food to survive. They were the Usain Bolt of the bear world, the fastest Bruins to have ever lived, reaching a top speed of 40 miles per hour, which is 5 miles faster than grizzlies. There are around 400 million pigeons in the world now. Some time ago, in America, a species of birds called passenger pigeons were abundant throughout the country, especially in the eastern forests. There were more than a billion of them, but they went from a billion to zero in a few years. They had small heads and necks, but long tails and wings, and strong breast muscles that allowed them to fly super long distances. The last passenger pigeon passed away in captivity in 1914. It was named Martha. With that, the ecosystem in the US has never seen this bird again. Now, elks are enormous animals but they look tiny when you compare them to long-gone Irish elks. That elk was around 7 feet tall at the shoulder with a humongous antler of 12 feet. Today, elk are only 4.5 feet tall at the shoulder and have around 4 foot long antlers. Despite its name, this elk was found all over the world, from Asia to Europe. It got its name because, in Ireland near Dublin, researchers found a perfectly preserved specimen. Since then, it's been called the Irish elk. The last one passed away in Ireland. The main reason for their disappearance was their inability to adapt to changes. When the Ice Age ended, the elk could not survive and became extinct. Now, Somewhere deep in the forests of Costa Rica lives the interesting-looking golden toad. It was discovered in 1966 in one particular spot where all toads would gather to mate. In 1967, a large population of this golden nugget was noted in that same spot. But the following year, only 10 to 11 toads were seen. And the year after that, in 1968, only one lonely male toad showed up at the spot. For years, there were searches for golden toads. In 2004, the toads were officially declared extinct. Humans were not responsible this time. The drought in the area in the 80s had a significant impact on the toads. Still, the last straw was the arrival of a new fungal species that caused the animal skin to thicken, eventually leading to the toad passing away. This chytrid fungus is responsible for the extinction of more than 90 frog and amphibian species, becoming one of the biggest threats to their lives. Now, Canada is a very cold country, no surprise there, 
and nobody would expect tropical birds like parrots to live there. However, there was a parrot species that lived in America and some parts of Canada. I'm talking about the Carolina parakeet. Those were truly beautiful birds with orange-yellowish heads and green bodies. Their favorite rest spots were big trees alongside rivers. This parrot's favorite food was cocklebird seeds, which are poisonous to us. But the bird had no problem eating them. Also, they used the dangerous cockleburrs as a defense mechanism. After they ingested loads of them, their meat became poisonous, and predators do not enjoy eating toxic birds. Carolina parakeets were abundant, there were millions of them. But since the Ice Age, their numbers had been gradually going down because of natural reasons, mainly temperature. By 1935, no such parakeets were left in the wild. Today's African lion had a much more prominent and notorious cousin, the Barbary lion. Those cats were mentioned in many famous old books. They were described as mean, terrifying beasts. It's believed that they were the largest lion species ever. Those big cats weighed around 600 pounds and were 9 feet from the head to tail. Unfortunately, this lion was declared extinct in the 90s due to many factors. Today, we only have one photo of this animal taken from a plane. Paradise parrots were native to Australia. They were genuinely amazing birds with captivating colors. What was unique about them was their nesting habits. They only nested in termite mounds. This parrot was always on the edge of extinction, and the reason for that is still unknown. Mice, rats, and other animals also hunted them, and it added fuel to the fire. The last bird was spotted in the year 1972. Since then, paradise parrots have only been seen in museums. The Gulf of Mexico was once home to Caribbean monk seals. This species of seals enjoyed spending time in the warm subtropical climate of the Caribbean. Most of the time, they were found near reefs and islands, foraging for food. Like most of us, they also loved sandy beaches and were usually seen in groups of 100 seals, resting before the next adventure. In the year 1886, monk seals were declared extinct. You can still see this animal in two museums. Both are located in the UK. As we all know, zebras have black and white stripes. But once, a zebra species had only half the body covered with brown and white stripes. The rest was just brown, and the belly was white. It was called the quagga. They lived in the southern part of Africa in grass fields and wet pastures, like today's zebras, and ate grass and other plants. The last quagga perished in 1888. But not all hope is lost. Today, extensive research is being done to bring this animal back into the wild. Australia is home to many outlandish animals, but the craziest ones are probably gastric brooding frogs. This species is not like your ordinary frog that lays eggs. They hatch their young inside their stomach and give birth by vomiting around 25 fully formed young frogs. Sometimes their stomach becomes so bloated that they have to breathe through their skin. Two species of this frog were discovered in the northern and southern parts of Australia in the 1970s by Mike Taylor. A decade after their discovery, both species are gone. The main reason for their extinction is the chytrid fungus. Luckily for them, they're also part of a de-extinction program that's putting serious efforts into bringing them back into the wild. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.